Welcome to my second tutorial uh, regarding iWeb and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Analytics and within iWeb. Um, Google Analytics is a powerful program from Google, it's all free and uh, you can be able to, it, it basically helps you uh, track all the traffic that is on your website. So first of all you need to, need to have registered uh, with Google Analytics. Uh, so hopefully you've done that. Uh, here's my web page, here's my uh, site. And you're gonna add uh, a profile. So once uh, you type in your domain name here. Uh, so I'll just do this. Uh, you're gonna hit continue. And then what we're looking for is this UA uh, number here. And just want to select that and you're going to copy that. We're going to need that later. So we'll get back to that. So that's all you really need to do with Google Analytics right now. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to download a program from the Apple website. Um, and the easiest way to find that is as, as you can see, I've just written Google Analytics along here, uh, automated in Google, and uh, do a search for it find it in the Apple website. Um, this is the program we're looking for. Um, it's an automated program, so if you haven't used automated before, don't panic. This is a very simple program, very easy to use in automated. Um, so you can download this program. Once you've downloaded it, you have to install it. Once you've installed it, it will show up in automated. So to save time, uh, I've already done that. So let's open up automated. And under library here, uh, you can see we've got add Google Analytics. Now we just simply drag that over and here's that UA number that we need. So you just select that um, and paste the number that Google gave us. Um, and that's all there is to it right now. So we need to just save that. Save that as a plugin. Uh, it's probably the easiest. I find that's the easiest thing to do. Save it as a plugin and we'll call that Okay, um, and we just save that. Uh, once we've saved that, we don't need to use uh, Automator again. Uh, you can actually close it. You can quit Automator. It doesn't doesn't, doesn't need to be open. Uh, and then we're going to um, navigate our way to where we saved our website originally from iWeb. We choose. Uh, published a folder and uh, here we go here's my website so um, I'm going to right click on that select more select automator and there it is tester analytics so I select that and it will run in about two seconds um, and it's done so it's added the code to uh, this website and then all I need to do is simply Upload that using an FTP uploading software, and Google should be able to pick it up. Uh, it might take a day or two for Google to pick it up. Uh, then you should be able to uh, be able to track everything uh, within Google Analytics. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Uh, please email me if you have any questions, and uh, look forward to um, bringing more tutorials to you in the future.